Yeah, welcome back. Uh, another session again on work energy and power, problem solving. Remember, one bug will never make a summer. Therefore, the more we do these exercises, is the more you will get equipped in terms of the approach in this section, which is one of the easiest section. So hopefully, by now you have gained a lot of insight in the section. Okay, fine. Another question again here in front of us. It's come from a recent question paper as well. Question number five on a normal question paper. Remember, an electric motor pulls a 20 kilogram crate from rest. So immediately know that uh, you underline the weight from rest, meaning that the initial velocity is zero at point A up an inclined plane by means of a light inextensible rope. Um, the inclined plane makes an angle of 18 degrees with the horizontal. PCD are points uh, on the inclined plane and the distance between A and C is 15.6 meters as shown in the diagram below. Now they are saying to us, here is the diagram and then just below the diagram now there's a statement they say the motor exerts a constant force uh, that is a force of the, the tension in the rope uh, of 96.8 newtons parallel to the inclined plane on the rope a constant frictional force is given there thanks a lot remember when given coefficient you have to calculate friction so constant frictional force of 13.5 newton acts on the crate as it moves on the inclined plane 5.1 define a non-conservative force so remember a non-conservative force in our explanations uh, when we we're presenting we said it's a, a contact force it can be tension friction or the applied force now uh, when you define this one you will be now saying therefore a force becomes a non-conservative uh, this one this force is a force a force for which for which work done on an object work done yeah not, not okay work done in moving in moving an object between two points between two points is dependent dependent on the path taken or it depends on the path taken on the path taken that is a non-conservative force fine let's move the next question 5.2 Use energy principles to calculate the speed of the crate when it reaches point C. No problem. Remember, we are not asked to draw a free body diagram. Remember, to deal with this section, the easiest way will say all the time draw a free body diagram. According to this one, we'll have this uh, as a free body diagram. For the weight, it's always easier to make the components. You can still also work down, work with the weight just this way is fine. Remember, there are four ways of dealing with the work done by the weight. You can always opt for the one that is good for you. Then in this case, now we'll have tension going up. We'll have friction that is also going down here. Now, there are how many folks are doing work on the object now? According to this one, we said... Because the displacement is up the incline, therefore, where tension will do positive work, we'll use the cosine of zero degrees. Both, in this case, they are doing negative work, we'll use the cosine of 180 degrees. Then, normal, no work done by normal, no work done by FG parallel perpendicular or W perpendicular. Remember, some people, they like W, fine. W perpendicular is also correct. Therefore, both, of the, both normal and W perpendicular they are not doing any work, they are doing zero work there because why they are perpendicular to the displacement here. Now let's use work energy theorem to solve this one. Easy. Work net equals to delta EK. Fine. The forces that are doing work, there are three. Therefore, it will be work done by friction plus work done by FG parallel plus work done by tension 
equals to half mvf squared minus half mvi squared. Once you can start this way, hopefully we are heading towards the correct answer. Friction is given in the statement. It's said to be 13.5. Therefore, 13.5 uh, multiplied by, according to the diagram here, delta x is 15.6. Therefore, 15.6 uh, meters cosine of 180 degrees. That is the work done by friction plus work done by the parallel component of the of uh, the weight then it will be now mg remember the mass of this one is 20 multiplied by 9.8 sine the angle is given is 18 and then delta x is 15.6 and then cosine of 180 degrees fine work done by the weight Plus, work done by tension, the force is given there is 96.8 multiplied by delta x 15.6 uh, multiplied by the cosine of 0 degrees because uh, the tension is doing positive work equals to half of, sorry, uh, 20 multiplied by, uh, the, we find the final velocity here and then the initial is 0. Once you do it in this fashion, hopefully you are going to get to the answer. There is no way. Yeah, there's no way that you will find you won't find the final answer. Therefore, when you use your calculator, in this case, you will find that the final velocity equals to, in this case, 5.96 meters per second. And once again, we say remember this work done by the weight can be mg uh, h cos theta so you can always find the expression for the this one can be negative delta ep if you don't want to use this one or it can be mg delta x cos in this case it was going up it will be now 90 plus theta so which will be 90 plus 18 degrees i hope you get that one so you can always use any one of this if you don't want to use this one you will get the same answer in this one that was 5.2 let's go to 5.3 5.3 it says calculate the minimum average power dissipated by the electric motor uh, to pull the crate from point a to c no problem 5.3 average uh, power Remember, there are only two formulas in this case, or three. Just average power will be F multiplied by V average. Remember, the other one is power equals the rate at which work is done. Uh, if you, like in this case, you can always calculate the work done by that, uh, and this one, 96.8. Then, but the time, you will have to use now the equation of motion to find the time. In this case, that's one option, but the easiest option would be this one because the force is given is 96.8, that is the force of the motor, and then V average is the one that is not given. So remember, if you go back to grade 10, V average will be the initial plus final. V average equals to VI plus VF, all divided by 2. So in this case, the VI is 0, the VF is the one that we calculated 5.96 divided by 2 therefore our final answer in this case if you use your calculator it must give you somewhere around 288.73 watts that is the average power now 5.3 let's go to last two questions when the crate reaches point c the rope breaks Remember, according to Newton 1, it has to continue moving upwards because of its inertia. The crate continues moving up the incline, yes, comes to a stoppage at D, and then slide down the plane past point B. Draw a free, this one, a labeled free body diagram for the crate as it slides down the plane past B. Remember, on incline, when now the objects are just sliding the y story then you can put this one 
you will have the weight and then friction will be up the incline and then the normal will be this way that is the y story or you can also use components of the weight to say this is your w perpendicular and this one is the normal and this one is your w parallel and the friction so either this one or this both of them will be accepted a correct one and accepted one thank you um the last question this was uh, 5.4 5.4 then 5.5 let's see um 5.5 they say to us draw a velocity time graph for the entire motion of the of the crate starting from the point a until it passes point b again on its motion down and the incline remember in this case now we know that from point a it was accelerating uh, positively and then from b to from uh, C to D, it was now uh, accelerating negatively. Uh, the acceleration is negative there. The slope of the line will be negative. And again, from D downwards, it's still accelerating in opposite direction if you take upward as positive. Yes. So, uh, first option will be that that's upward is positive. Is positive. That's the easiest one. To say oh fine velocity time graph will have this now zero here this is velocity in meters per second and then the highest velocity we know is 5.96 5.96 and from zero it will reach that one 5.96 and then this one is at c from c it will go down to D well, this one can be A and this one is C and then to D at D it will now slow down remember now it's a it now act again in opposite direction but the acceleration won't be the same so obviously from D then acceleration will be in this case so very important this and this one so this one with lesser slope and this one with the bigger slope then this will be up to where we don't know and this is the time in seconds if you take downward as positive you will have downward as positive and that now you will have to start from the negative side zero and then we will have negative 5.96 and then you will have this and then you'll we'll have this and then there now you'll we'll have this one so i think you know you see how it goes uh, this is time in seconds oh sorry yeah this is the case this is time in seconds and this is velocity in meters per second this one is when now downward is positive I mean that it from a to c it will start in a negative way a here C here in a negative way, D still in a negative way, uh, but now slowing down. Then now from D to this one is now starting from rest and then increasing. In that case, this will be the case. That's all about this question, which was 17 marks. And I hope and believe that now, at least after having seen these responses and our listening to our discussions, at least it makes you to be a better learner now and a better teacher in this section. So how do we deal with work energy and power problems? Very important, always before you can use work energy theorem, make sure that you draw a free body diagram, even if you are not asked to draw, because that one will enable you to know which forces are doing work on the object and whether they are doing positive work or negative work. So that is very vital so that this, this part will be very easy for you to work on, to expand from the formula. Until we meet again, uh, thanks a lot. Bye.